Deirdre, what are we doing here? We're gathering crab apples for a feast that we're going to have at the Butler Gallery on the Thursday evening, which is for a select group of farmers, scientists and policymakers to discuss what kind of potential solution there might be to producing food sustainably in Ireland. Excellent. And this is part of an overall exhibition that you're doing called Sustainment Experiments. And sustainment is a concept that was put forward by a design philosopher called Tony Fry. And really, he speaks of it as an equivalent moment to the moment of the Enlightenment, in that it the kind of cultural shift and change of behaviours that's needed to respond to the climate crisis and biodiversity crisis that we face today. So sustainment essentially encompasses all life forms, whether they're human or non-human. And it's about how we can collectively manage being on Earth today. Excellent. And it's a beautiful sunny day. We're in the field of the great oak and the grass is looking magnificent. You can see from the quad tracks. And we're um, collecting crab apples. Crab apples. Chef Claire Ann O'Keefe is going to do something delicious with these on Thursday evening. And then the, uh, the exhibition opens on Saturday the 15th of, of October, October, this coming Saturday in the Butler Gallery in Kilkenny with a conversation between Susanna Crampton, the one and only, and myself. <laughs> and the day before that, I'll be having a conversation with Jerry Kearns, who's a professor of geography at Maynooth University. And we'll be talking about the global rise of capital through the lens of the potato. So from crab apples to potatoes and sustainability and the environment. That's what this exhibition is about. It is. And, and you know, I was invited to, first of all, have the feast and then the exhibition by the Butler Gallery under the learning and engagement curator, Holly Kearns, as part of the Soil Residency Commissions programme that they're running at the gallery. Excellent. Oh, well, we're so lucky that the weather is just magnificent. So we're under another crab apple tree, a different kind, filling it up. So there's two crab apples. There's this very traditional green one. Then there's this more red one. My grandfather planted all these. Then this is a delicious eater. Extraordinary. So everybody's helping, including the sheep. So I'm standing up on the quad, being bold. And who is that? Little Bit, whoops, is helping out. Aren't you, Little Bit? See, I've knocked some apples off and uh, she's found them and eaten them. Sheep love the apples. Hey, how are you? Everybody's joining me up on the quad. Mm. <laughs> oh. Come on, girl. And that's how we pick crab apples at Maiden Hall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is there. Oh, what have you got? This one. Oh, how unpleasant of you. <laughs>